I started doing this triathlons and, and endurance sports, ultra runs, just to test my soul, to see what I'm about, to see in a 150 mile race at mile 75 when I feel really bad, that's when you know, that's the only time you can find out what the human body is all about, what, what you're made of, to find out limits to myself, limits to the human soul. And every day I'm trying to see if I have limits. I run anywhere from 125, 150 in a week. So I'll try and put in about 450 miles a month. Usually every day I wake up at three o'clock in the morning and I run anywhere from 10 to 15 miles in the morning. And then I, I live about 25 miles from work. So I, I get my bicycle, commute into work, do a normal work day at lunchtime around noon. I'll run again anywhere from five to eight miles, whatever it may be, come back, work, and around 5.30, I'll ride back home 25 miles on my bike. If I'm feeling good and I wanna get more miles, I'll get off the bike and do like a short three or four or five mile run. That's my everyday life. So I don't just train like an hour or so. I train until something is uncomfortable and then that's when you know who you are. The only easy day was yesterday. It, it just never ends. I mean, I've done some races where you're on a one mile track and you're run for 48 hours straight. So imagine running 48 hours around a one mile track. And it's not like you're sleeping, you're, you're running for 48 hours, it's how many miles you can get. I wanna talk about mind torture. My life doesn't have a finish line. So when I cross the finish line of the Ironman, it doesn't matter. Because I know that, you know, two or three weeks from now, I'll be doing something else to put my body through more pain. I believe, you know, everything I try to do is kind of defined by excellence. But I don't think I ever reach excellence myself. Because I have my standards of my life are really high. So I don't think I ever reach it, but I try to every day. You have to be a good individual first before you can be a good team player. I know for a fact how bad hell we get. I, I, I went through it a couple times. It's probably the most brutal, like, brutal military training anybody can go through. So everybody to my left and everybody to my right, they've been through this. So I know mentally, you know, these individuals are extremely hard. And when stuff gets bad in, you know, in any situation, I know these guys have my back. I've done a lot of things I thought were impossible. Nothing's impossible anymore. David Goggins, the United States Navy.